Hello everyone. Today we'll be looking into a very important topic. Something that affects everything on this planet irrespective of where they are. We read everyday newspapers, magazines about it causing irreplaceable damage to earth and it's increasing every passing year. Yes. It is the problem of environmental pollution. But what exactly is this pollution? Why is it a matter of such a big concern? To understand that, just consider. I gave you this glass of water to drink. Will you drink it? And if I ask you the reason for that, you would say that it's not clean and hence undesirable or unfit for drinking, right? Along the same lines, or just on a broader scale, consider our surrounding. where we keep on adding impurities on a daily basis will then be our environment safe for existence of life no right so to define pollution we need to look into three aspects first if the contaminant is being introduced or present in our surrounding secondly the extent to which it is present to understand this Let's consider a clean glass of water to which we add just one drop of ink and to another glass of water we pour an entire bottle of ink and we stir both the glasses of water so which one will you call polluted if we go to see both the glass of water has contaminant which is the ink which we added In the first case the drop of ink just dispersed in the water and the water is almost clear indicating negligible amount of contaminant but the second glass has more amount of contaminant our environment has a natural ability to accommodate this contaminants by recycling storing breaking it down or dispersing them but if their addition is at a rate faster than what our earth can hold only then we call it pollution i hope you are understanding now we come to the third aspect that is whether the presence of contaminant is causing harm or discomfort to living beings or our environment as a whole So considering these three aspects we can now define pollution as the introduction of contaminants into the environment either in the form of chemical substance or energy that can cause harm or discomfort to humans or other living organisms or that damage the environment Pollution can occur in all habitats may be land sea fresh water or in the air and the substances which causes this habitat destruction are called pollutants they can be artificial or synthetic substances such as pesticides or naturally occurring substances such as carbon dioxide that occur in harmful concentration in a given environment based on the type of pollutant and the part of the environment which they affect there are different kinds of pollution well if i ask you to name these types most of us would say air water land or soil pollution and here the three habitats that is our atmosphere water and land environment is getting affected or we can say there is a decline in the quality of these three components but friends do you know there are some other kinds of pollution as well the ones that depend on the type of pollutant or contaminant that is added can you think of what they are noise pollution the sound generated from various vehicles during transportation the honking of horns at traffic signals the sound of loud speakers playing drums etc at times become annoying right this sound when it becomes undesirable 
creating discomfort to the ears, we call it noise pollution. Thermal pollution occurs when water bodies are degraded in terms of altering their temperatures. This especially occurs in thermal and nuclear power plants where large amount of water is used for heating and cooling purposes and they are released into natural water bodies. Light Pollution You might be wondering how can light be a form of pollution, right? Light pollution occurs due to length end and excessive use of artificial light such that it results in brightening of the skies at night. Radioactive pollution Like any other kind of pollution, it is the release of something unwanted into the environment and in this case, the unwanted thing is radioactive material. Friends, don't worry. We'll be studying the individual types of pollution in detail in our upcoming sessions. And one thing we must note here that each type of pollution may come from different sources and may have different consequences. But the ultimate result of all these is environmental degradation. They all have harmful effects on life and environment. These issues are not country specific but it affects the entire planet and it is all happening because of us humans or the activities done by humans. So, it is our responsibility to become environmentally cautious individuals. We all must be aware of our deeds. We must ensure our activities should cause minimum damage to our environment. Only then we can ensure sustainable development. So that's it for today. For our further sessions on environmental pollution, please stay tuned with us. If you like this session, give us a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to Let's Do It. Till we meet the next time, keep watching, keep learning. Thank you.